I was a pioneer Panning for gold I was a young man 25 years old I left my family back in Texas And I headed for the west I never knew what fortune was before As soon as I crossed that state line Heard the harmony that never ends In the echoes of the canyon In the Santa Ana wind In the crash of the Pacific In the calling of the birds I made a promise to California And I never break my word I made some new friends Jokers and thieves We fought like brothers Yeah, you never believe But once we hit the mother load There was no turning back I never knew what fortune was before As soon as I crossed that state line Heard the harmony that never ends In the echoes of the canyon In a Santa Ana West In the crash of the Pacific In the calling of the birds I made a promise to California And I never break my word so, so many people never leave their own hometown. No, they'll never see the sign up in the hills. They will never know the sunset melting through the haze of another picture perfect postcard day. So, I found a bottle empty inside I filled it with sun and wind and the moon and the tide and I always keep it with me as I wander this weary world I spill a little of that spirit everywhere I go they may never get there they'll know As soon as I cross that state line Heard the harmony that never ends In the echoes of the canyon In the Santa Ana winds In the crash of the Pacific In the calling of the birds I made a promise to California and I never break my word I made a promise to California And I never break my word I made a promise to California And I never break my word Adam, uh, Promise to California, what a fantastic song. I mean, the, the song craft that it exhibits and the uh, imagery that it evokes, I think are so powerful and you so effectively kind of capture the sense of wonder that somebody feels after seeing California for the first time. But you're originally from there. Yes, I am. How are you able to kind of put yourself in that mindset of somebody seeing it as a grown man for the first time? You know, it's because I still feel that way when I go to California. What are some of the lines in that uh, in this song that you are so particularly attached to? Um, well, not not the imagery one so much, but uh, in the bridge it says, uh, "So many people never leave their own hometown. They'll never see the sign up in the hills. They'll never see the sunset 
melting through the haze at the end of one more picture perfect postcard day. Mm -hmm. um, th the idea of the song is somebody who has the wonder of California and he kind of makes it his life's mission to bottle it up and uh, take it all over the world wherever he goes and try and uh, uh, spread that feeling and stuff. Right. Now you're very prolific as a songwriter um, in your in your own right, but mm -hmm. you've also co-written mm -hmm. and are frequently sought out by other artists mm -hmm. to co-write. Who, sure. who are some artists you've uh, you've written songs with? Uh, I wrote a song with Nora Jones. I was yeah. in her band for a while. Um, I wrote a song with a, a young artist named Aaron James who was out uh, opening for Elton John mm -hmm. for a while on tour. Um, my songs more and more are winding up on other people's records, which makes me really, really happy. Mm, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, they're like, you know, my children and they're out there doing good things. Mm. How does the co-writing process differ from like a song you might just write for yourself? It's really different. Uh, when I'm writing by myself, it's really about, uh, like I said, kind of tricking myself into a sub getting in touch with the subconscious stuff. But when you're writing with somebody else, it's really hard to have two people in the same dream, mm -hmm. you know? So it always seems like when you're writing with somebody else, one person is the dreamer and the other person is sort of writing down the things that they yeah. say in their dream state. Now, am I sensing that you've had some negative or contentious songwriting sessions with some people? Well, no, uh, uh, there's never, blood has never been drawn. No. <laughs> but close to it. But yeah, you know, I think the worst thing that can happen, that I've seen happen, is people just, they just give up. Now your grandfather was one of the most renowned songwriters of kind of like the, the golden age, Tin Pan Alley. And right. What are some songs that, that he was responsible for? Uh, he did, probably the two songs people would best know is uh, he co-wrote the Gilligan's Island theme song. I love that song. It was called The Ballad of Gilligan's sure. Island. Sure. And a Christmas song called It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year that was a big hit for Andy Williams and sure. then consequently for other sure. people. We actually made a record together. Really? When he was 80, he called me up one day out of the blue, he said, I think we should make a record together. And I said, okay, when do we start? Uh -huh. And did you guys take that on tour? No, we no. didn't take it on tour. <laughs> no, we didn't take it on Trash tour. Trash some hotel rooms along the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and my... <laughs> no. So um, your recent release is mm -hmm. called The Heart Collector. That's right. And I've um, heard some great tracks off of that album as well. Um, what would you say is the consistent theme? Because there's definitely a theme that runs through that album. Right. What, what, what would you say it is? Well, the theme really for me was to have images over emotions. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple years ago, I took a writing uh, workshop with a writer named Linda Berry. She wrote mm -hmm. one of my favorite books of all time. And uh, she's not a songwriter or a lyric writer, but in her workshop, one of the things she really stresses is writing from images. I went away from saying, I feel, you should feel, I wish we both felt, mm -hmm. to hear some images. Yeah. And the thing that was so powerful is, for me as a writer, the discovery at the end of that, changing my whole style of writing, was that there's still a lot of emotion in there. Yeah. Right? It's not just a photo album of right. here's this and that, but it actually, in getting more in touch with the images, uh, the emotion can still be there. And yeah. it was a really different uh, discovery for me. Yeah, if I had to pick an adjective about this album, I would definitely think evocative mm. because the songs evoke so many images mm. and kind of blend them all in together to this kind of beautiful montage mm. throughout the album. Uh, Promise to California is a great song. Uh, the Heart Collector itself, the title track, is a great song. There's just mm. so many great songs on the album. Oh, thank you. It's been great to have you uh, come in to meet us here at Gibson mm. and play. Um, anytime you're in New York or you want to stop in here, you're always welcome. Jimmy, thanks so much. Thanks. Best of luck.